Hey everyone, this is Phil, and in this video we will be reenacting a conversation between Statue pretending to be Michael and this poor guy called Josh, who um, was a really good sport about the April Fool's joke and uh, gave us permission to release the contents of this uh, interaction. So basically, Josh, the backstory is Josh messaged Statue on, uh, well, he messaged Michael on Reddit saying like, hey, you know, I noticed you want to chat sometime and gave him his phone number and then Statue got a hold of the number and started pretending to be Michael. And uh, this is this is what happened. I'm going to uh, play Josh and Statue is going to, I guess, play himself pretending to be Michael. <laughs> so he starts here. Aloha. Hey, is this the phone camera stand person? No. This is Michael Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Wapua. Hey man, what's up? How was the contest? Not much. Just getting used to the temperature here. Competition hasn't happened yet. It's on the 16th. I'm pretty pumped. Nice to see a local boy speed cubing. I seen your vid on YouTube with the cube. What method are you using? Hawaiian Kosiemba. And I'm glad to be repping Hawaii. Is that a fewest move method with your spin on it? It was optimized for speed, not quite an FMC method. The waves guide me through my solves. At all possible, could you teach the method or send me a link to the tutorial? Because I really want to learn it. Watching your vid really got me interested, process-wise. I haven't yet documented the method. May do so after the competition. It's similar to free thought. I appreciate the encouragement. Mahalo. You're doing great, man. I want to start using your method, and that's why I want to get a jump start on it. I'll start studying free fop and see where that gets me until you can help me out. Thanks, man. You can do anything you set your mind to. Thanks, man. As far as a starting point for the method, where should I start so I can erase CFOP? That way, when you do share your method, I can meet you halfway. Look at this. Your method is a mystery, man. Very interesting. You get a chance to read it. Is it accurate? It's not quite accurate. You're only looking at a subset of what I do. Well then, that's even better for me, because I get to clarify with you. Don't worry. What we talk about here will stay between us. How do I know I can trust you? From Hawaii, dude. Only aloha here. I would never tell anyone. I'm in the medical field. I have to maintain trust and keep patients info private. I'm a private person. And if I didn't trust you, why would I give you my personal number? Yes, people in Hawaii are very trusting sometimes, because we live in Hawaii. No hatred here. Aloha to that brother. Sorry for questioning. The mere fact that you're from Hawaii of course indicates a trustworthy character. What would you like to know? Thanks, man. Basically everything about your method you created. Where to start and what to look for. I must sleep for now. The cold weather is very strange to me as you can imagine. We will speak tomorrow. I look forward to talking to you. Stand firm. Alright man, take care. How is the weather back home? Beautiful as always, man. I have an indoor job, so I'm away for a minority of the day. That's a shame. Less time to ride the waves. Yeah, I go beach on weekends, surf and spearfish. So, when you were saying the method earlier, was that the truth or were you misguiding me? Okay, so here's the thing. Hawaiian Kosiamba is basically free thought with a lot of special case algs. Most of my training consists of fine-tuning efficiency of the first two layers. So, for free thought, is that Petrus? Eh, kinda. Basically, free thought is the idea of doing F2O intuitively, and this may be partially influenced by the ideas in Petrus. I know it must be hard explaining this over text. So, free thought starts with partial cross, which goes into F2O with cube rotations, no rotation, such as RULD. There is no set sequence. That's what makes it as free as the wind. So, like, the problem with most methods is that they tell you exactly what to do. And since you're looking for only those things, you miss tons of op interesting opportunities. That is so very true. I do that with F2L, since I know CFOP. It's going to be hard to get rid of. My goal in solving is to finish the cube. I do not focus on minute details, such as the cross, but rather in bigger pictures. You cannot surf a single droplet of water, but a wave you may. <laughs> okay, Yoda. You're probably the only person who uses spiritual quotes. I find it enjoyable. Can you tell me, tell me a bit more about your cubing background? Started when I was in high school. So, for fun, no competition, but I strive to get below 15 seconds. I'm way too busy to cube in comps. I'm a nursing student, so it's really hard to find time. How fast are you now? How long have you been cubing for? At 15 seconds PB, cutting on and off a couple years, uh, too busy with life. Life can be busy, but you must always find time to sit in the sun. And when it comes to algs, my processing time needs improvement. Do you know Full Last Layer yet? Yeah, all cases. Watch a lot of Sayo the King when it comes to Last Layer. Good job, Hualaha. Keep practicing and do not stay too strictly to any one discipline. I know, it's going to be hard trying to figure out your method without your help visually. Question, 
What about winter variation method? Do you mix that method in, OLL skip to PLL? Yes, winter variation is very good, but winter variation CP is a great addition to that set or subset of the cases. Yeah, I'm learning that method also. Really helpful for PLL skips. Very good. Where do you think you are the weakest? The cross. I try to do it blind, but it's hard, and making an F to a pair while finding last piece of cross? How long does it take you to do the cross? Almost 10 seconds. <laughs> oh no. Try to do one piece blind. Do that for a day. Then two pieces blind. Increase when you can. Yeah. It all takes practice. Stand firm. Yeah, trying, man. Do you have any videos of you solving? Nah, don't record myself. Why not? I don't know. Don't have the need to record. Why don't you send me some vids of you solving? Inspire me. Okay, then I didn't respond for a few days, and then I sent him a picture um, at Michael during lunch, and it says, prepping. And then he goes, what rank you place, man? Competitions on Saturday. Oh, I thought you were in the comp already. Kind of hard learning WVCP, but it's slowly sticking. Because there are no set algs, but that's what makes it fun. What are you using to generate algs? Nothing. Using the speed solving forum as a resource. Ha! Just watched you in this vid for the Waylong GTS. And at this point, the comp came, and then Michael got his 50 average. Yeah, 50 something average. So a few days later, we called him up explaining the situation to him, and he laughed it off. He hadn't seen the results, so we had to tell him. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, he was super cool about it. Yeah. And, uh,. Yeah, if, you, if you're listening to this, um, thank you very much for uh, playing along, and uh, thanks for making it fun.